All right, we just got into our new job, just warming up, warming up the machine. Give you a quick run through what uh, what we're going to be doing. This is our access down through there. <coughs> we'll pull this post out to get in. So sort of changed a little bit, but we're um we're going to be cutting this back a bit. <coughs> This level squaring this off, pulling these plants out. Um, rock wall coming through and around and down, um, and then leveling off the back garden, possibly putting another wall on the back. He just said, he just gave me a call. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty pretty straightforward sort of thing. We're going to use some sawn steps off off this height here. Um, the bike here is a carpenter, so. He's going to um, do a staircase up, probably something similar to that, and then from there we're going to use some sworn steps and come up however we come up. Um, but yeah, we should um, should get a lot of this prep work knocked over today. Um, should only take us, you know, should have this knocked over by the end of the week. It's Tuesday, so um, and then I think we're going to throw some topsoil down <coughs> into this area, but we'll see how we go. Let this warm up and we'll get stuck into it. Pull this out and I'll uh, have to dig in. Bit of a footing or something. Next time. gonna make it heaps easier for me. So come in, rip these plants out, <clears throat> square the bottom off, clean that up a bit. I don't know. Yeah, make a start. What actually? 
actually message him now. See if we can get some rock in. Oh, I got that one first go too. How good's that? Fucking beautiful. Made me life a bit easier. Uh, it seems like pretty easy dirt to dig. It's actually quite wet. Just um, finished cutting this back. I've got to cut back far enough now that I think we'll be able to get that two meter point in the face of the rock. Um, so that's all cut. I'll chuck the laser on it a bit later, see where it's looking. I'm going to transfer the stock pile of dirt out into the paddock. Um, that way I can um, hopefully get the rocks down here and tip them into the, I'm going to build a bit of a berm across the back here and hopefully I can get the rocks in and tip them off into the pile of dirt um, and then I'm going to just cut this top section try and level it off a bit see how it comes up so we'll get this dirt transferred and then I might um, take the camera and put it outside while I cut this and then that'll probably be it for today alright I haven't taken much video because we've just been doing bits and pieces I'm now finishing off this top cut um, you can see I've notched it out uh, probably 400 mil in that corner probably be close to 600 mil in this right corner it's not it's not dead flat yet I've just been um, cutting it by eye and I'll, I'll chuck a laser on it either this afternoon or in the morning um, I've piled up all my dirt out there we're going to build a berm for the um, rock truck to tip off, they're going to come tomorrow, I hope. Uh, I'm still waiting to hear if they're going to um, come tomorrow or the next day or, or you know, whatever the case may be. Um, either way, we'll have a load of rock hopefully tomorrow.
is cut. This is all shaped up, ready for rock. Just about. Might be a little bit more cleaning up to do. I've started cutting this. I've made a, a decent chunk out of it. Still got a bit to go, but we'll worry about that tomorrow, I think. My laser's flat, so get some batteries. And um, get this squared off and leveled up tomorrow. Um, yeah, we've taken a fair chunk of dirt out. Levels are all over the place a bit, but fair pile of dirt out there. And just clean up this little bottom. This is my main concern is getting this done and then I can get to cutting that out. Once that's done, I just wanted to make a start, get some shapes happening. It's a bit of a hump there. I can pull down, lower that side a bit. But not bad for day one. Alrighty, back out here this morning. It is now Friday. So we haven't been here in a few days because the rock truck uh, snapped an axle. So I didn't really want to finish cutting this grade because I'm going to use this dirt to backfill the wall. But I'm sort of I'm in an R and I'm what to do on that sort of side of things. But we're, um, we're, we're there. We're just... I'll give this a quick clean. I've got my rocks now, which we'll see when we track out. So it's just letting the machine warm up. Um, I'll probably uh, try and track out now. I've got to get some, um, no, it still hasn't warmed up yet. I've got to get some fuel. So I don't have the fuel cell on the ute anymore. So sold the car. Um, so this machine actually comes standard with a pump in the back of it. So I'm hoping I can just go up to my truck fuel tank and pump 100 litres out of that which will be helpful otherwise I got four jerry cans in the back of my truck which I really don't want to deal with so that'll be fun I'll get in the machine I'll get set up and we'll go see if we can get some fuel in it and this ladies and gentlemen is why we buy Volvo conveniently place in the back of the machine pump straight into the fuel tank how good is that that is fucking brilliant. Now it's going to make sure I don't drain my truck dry. <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. I am super stoked about that. I have a fuel tank of fuel and I just need to bring the truck. Um, float driver broke me mirror when they dropped it off to one of our jobs. Uh, let me turn that music down. That'll probably make YouTube fucking spit the dummy. Um, yeah, they broke me mirror, so I've just got a new one. So I'm just going to fit that. Just going to unscrew it, screw it back in. And um, got the top gun and staff and everything in there. We'll go uh, get set up and I suppose start putting some rock in. I'm going to start. Try and do this corner today. So I'll try and get this part all rocked and then I'll try and do some rock here. I need a spotter for this wall unfortunately, but I don't have one so um, see how we go. I'm just going to clean this edge up. Um, clean this, just make sure it's falling the right way. Still a bit of a hump on this back section. Um, once this is cleaned up, I'm only going to clean up to where the staircase is going to go. Um, oh, I might clean the whole thing up. Though. Stairs are going to go in the middle of that shade sail. Um, we're doing the sawn basalt, so they're going to go somewhere. Around, I don't know, around there somewhere. We don't really have a spot for them, just sort of wherever they work. Um
Oh, a quick run through of what's been happening. We've got our rocks in. Uh, they were just behind that pile. We just got them tipped off there. So, decent size ones. Um, got two piles here and there. There's the 25 cube of um, what I think leveled this off down the bottom. I haven't gone and have a look yet. I'm about to set the laser up, mark me line, and just sort of have a bit of a look. Roughed in the stairs where I think roughly they're going to go. Um, so I've got a bit of an idea and I can get up and down a bit easier. I mean, they're still slanting, but um, it's easier than trying to climb down there. So I've got the grab hooked up. Um, just need to hook up the hydraulics. So I'm going to take the laser, go down there, make sure my heights are right. And then, um, yeah, try and work out a bit of a plan. Face of the rock. So the rocks will probably come back to probably somewhere around here. They're about... Maybe even a bit further. Um, this is all right for height. It's bang on top of the sleeper. So I'm just going to go back to where we've roughed in the stairs and just take a bit more out of here. Um, I haven't hooked up the hydraulic, so I can just jump in quickly and take the grab off and level that off. But that's sort of the idea. Um, yeah, I really thought this is lower than what it was, but I guess not. So we'll quickly just chuck it on. I'm just going to take a fair old chunk out. I'm just going to go to here. Now this is where the stairs, the sawn steps will go, roughly. Um, I just want to get from here back and around this section right. Um, probably only needs to go down about 100 mil, um, just with a bit of fall. And then I can try and get this rocked um, today. All right, quickly knock that over. That's our line. Um, so front of the rocks 2.2 so I've cut out I should have cut out enough so we're going to need a bit of backfill but um, starting this corner here wrap around that's where the stairs will go so I've still got a fair bit to cut out through this section um, that's about 100 mil lower than the sleeper where that line is so um, at a minimum that's where I want it to be uh, the deeper the stronger the wall is going to be obviously um, but yeah, I'll just blend that corner, swoop that around. There's no real, I can't run that straight. It'll just, I need to cut too close to the fence. I still want to access up and down here. So I'm just going to swoop that corner out and I'll do the same over on that side. Um, yeah, I'll get this grab hooked up.
just got here this morning. We've had a fair bit of rain. Um, it's raining right now. Do have a truck coming to try and load some of this dirt out, so that might be interesting. I do have another truck coming with my sawn steps, so I'm gonna jump in the machine, get up there. I'm gonna put the grab on here, but I'll hook it on up there because it's just so muddy down here. I don't want to put all that through my cab, so I'll um, get all that sorted and then yeah, I might give you a bit of a run through once I get back down here. Um, both trucks are probably gonna get here at the same time, so <laughs> that'll be good, but we'll get stuck into it. Hold on. Alright, just got the um, rocks unloaded, the flat steps, dropped me shifter out of my cab on the way down, so I'll just pick that up, no I won't, I'll drop it, get it this time though, there we go, just throw it over here for now. And that is how a lazy person picks up a shifter. We have a little bit of earthworks rolling in right now. Help me just start getting rid of some of this dirt. is sorted and then I might flick the camera back on I just gotta bring the pile out a bit probably take me a little bit so I'll flick it back on shortly alright first truck loaded Let's see I don't think it's gonna have any drums getting out loaded Just clear me stock all up, taking that excess down, leave myself a little ramp. Just gonna go grab me staff and um, tripod, set the laser up, and just get these heights sort of ready to go. Figure out what we're gonna do in here. Um, come down here.
muddy, dirty boots. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. So we've gotten this part in, that part in, which I think I've got a fair bit of film of. Um. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, yeah, you're a good girl. We, um, I dug a little trench for him to run, run his water through the deck. So I've got to backfill that, get the wall in and then do that. So I got this bit done. I just need to do this. A little bit more there, a little bit more there. And then I reckon I'm probably going to look at cutting it to that height. So obviously that end slopes down to suit the block, but it'll come up to that height. Which is pretty even to that, so we'll um let's grab this. Hey, I know, I know. I'm messing up your backyard. I'll try and get your boots back on now, holding the camera. Um, set this up, figure out some heights, we'll go from there. back here this morning <clears throat> um, I come in yesterday for a few hours had a few personal things to do in the morning so I only did maybe two hours yesterday so I didn't even flick the camera on but <clears throat> I've got the steps placed from out there and here got this built um, we'll try and we'll walk down just easier when the machine warms up um, Pretty much got that all finished. Um, so, have a quick look. I'm hoping I can get all this wall done today. So, didn't touch anything there, just did that back wall. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Um, and knock this over. <coughs> so, got this done. Um, he does, oh, no, he walked into the clothesline. Does want me to, uh, do something with these rocks because he wants to be able to get his lawnmower behind. Um, so I don't know really what I'm going to do, but I'll um, I'll figure it out. I might try and drag him forward a bit, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, yeah, and that corner looks pretty good too. So spewing on that a little bit. But we'll see what I can do. Um, so then I'll just try and clean this up a little bit. Um, steps are going, so I've pretty much got the nine steps to go in here, which I might spend the morning just cutting out, and getting ready. So they're going to go there, and then basically these two walls, the steps there, these two walls are just going to meet in and curve into the steps. Um, yeah, so. Made pretty good progress for only a couple of hours yesterday. <laughs> Hello darling. Um, Alright, so the first thing I want to try and do this morning is fix this um, issue that he has here. He wants a bit more room, so I'm thinking I can get that to sit there. I, I can backfill onto the rock too, which will give him a bit. Um, so I'm just going to see what it looks like if I push these forward and touch. That they really want to go forward. If you're sitting too far forward on the rock, then. Um,
we just got back out here. It's Saturday morning. Um, that wall's now complete. Cut's done. Got this wall done, and we've got this, this corner done as well. I don't know if you can see with that glare. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, finish this portion of the wall just along here. Um, to here because this is my access in and out. I've still got a top saw of this top section for him. So, all right, just a quick update. We haven't really been doing much. The yard's pretty much done. I've got a top saw that put a bit more wall in. We're just loading out at the moment. Um, the leftover dirt. This is my hold on, sweat hands. Up again. This is my eighth. On ninth load, so um, yeah, see if I can do this one handed while I hold the camera. Takes a bit longer in the small truck, probably overloading it a little bit. I'm probably getting about six and a half cube in there per run, so we're getting it done. I'm hoping I can get this out today and maybe stockpile the topsoil in there um, that way tomorrow i can spread the topsoil and just put that rest of that wall in and this one will be wrapped up i haven't done much filming because there's not much to really film i'm just swinging around in circles throwing it in the truck so um yeah i'll give you a bit of an update at the end of the day all right just got here this morning today should be our last day here i'm leaving the truck running because i've uh got the gopro batteries charged um, I've got a few rocks in there that I've got to tip off. I've got to fucking clean up this. Um, so I've left a tiny bit of dirt here that I'm just going to try and fill in all the low spots and that from where we've been driving with the trucks and everything. So I'm going to clean that up. Um, got our topsoil here for the top. And then basically I have to put this wall in and they want me to take a, a scoop out of here for the fence posts that they're going to put back in they will put one rock over there um and we're out of here pretty much so um that's where we're at we'll get the machine kicked on and uh, we've got a little bit of rock here and a couple of cube in the back of the truck ready to go so i'll flick the camera on when i get in and the machine's ready to go all right still in the bit of topsoil in now um so Basically, I'm just trimming the top off this topsoil and just moving it along this edge. They wanted it. I was under the understanding that they were having like a meter garden bed along the rock edge for plants and stuff to go around, but they're just going to put like a really small garden edge. So, just pulling some of the topsoil out of this higher section through here. Um, it's probably one of the hardest materials to trim, I find anyway. so soft and sandy, just sandy loam, so we're just um, trying to flatten and pull the excess off and just put it along this edge um, to increase the lawn area, so uh, that's what we're doing now, we're just um, getting a thicker layer through here, they're just going to seed it, so we're probably chucking uh, anywhere from 50 to 100 mil across it. Um, spots are different than others so all right so just taking the grab off walls done topsoil's done um we're pretty much finished now we've just got to um well that's sitting on my hydraulic line hold on um there's one there we go Oh, no, stuffed it up again. There we go. Um, just, ah, oh, come on. There we go. I just got to, um, put some leftover rocks in the truck. I've packed up all the tools and, oh, um, everything like that. Um, so, leftover rocks in the truck, um, backfill the little bit of wall that we just finished, um, 
and just clean clean this up. So there's a bit of dirt here will be our backfill. A few small rocks which I'll just chuck in the truck now with the uh, shaken bucket. As you can see, topsoil is all done. Um, so should have this one knocked over pretty soon. It's 12.30 now, so probably an hour or so we should be done. I'll uh, level out this block and then if we've got any dirt left over, um, got any dirt left over I'll get rid of that but I think we should be pretty good we'll have to use a little bit of dirt to um, level this block out because um, we obviously wanted to flatten off and where the stockpile was we dug into the existing ground you know all that sort of stuff so we'll um, use a little bit of dirt um, and flatten this off and just just pretty it up because if we start going back to the existing we're going to end up digging more so than flattening so um, i'll just try and trim up and track in you know this little bit of dirt that we've got here it's probably a quarter of my truck load worth of dirt so um you know probably a couple of cube of dirt you know that's sitting on top just sort of loose um, besides that pile there, but I'm going to use that for backfill. Um, we ended up pulling out, um, I think it was 10 tandem loads, which is uh, 100 cube plus yesterday I did 13 loads in my truck, so close to 200 cube we pulled out um, of this job, 200 cubes of dirt. Um, to 60 cube of rock um, for the retaining walls and then nine sawn steps and um, a heap of topsoil so it's a pretty good job um, we're on and off here for two weeks this is the third week here but I probably wasn't here out of say five ten so out of the 13 days that the machine's been here, I've probably only been here. 10 of them, I think I've had three days off with physio and you know, all that sort of stuff. So it's about 10 days-ish. Maybe if you're talking hours, maybe even a little bit less. There's, there's probably, you know, 70 hours in this job something like that, 10, 7 hour days or something, um, just everything else got held up, we got weather and then I couldn't get a truck on a certain day and then I couldn't get my steps and then I couldn't get rock on the day that I wanted it and you sort of got to do it in the way that you can do it, otherwise you just sort of put yourself into a bit of a hole and make things harder, so if I can't get rock on the day that I need it, I just wait until I can get it, so you lose a day or two there um, doing it like that, but it is what it is. All right, machine's parked up. Um, it'll sit here probably. I don't know when we're using this again. It's nearly due for a service, so I might organise that. Um, it's all parked up. Anyone stealing the buckets? Um, all right, so we've cleaned up this pad. So this was our access. The neighbour, well, yeah, I suppose you call it neighbour. It's good enough to let us use that. So truck's loaded. They've just got some rubbish over there they need to deal with, plus the fence. Um, so this is all cleaned up. This wall's in, so the fence will go in here. So I don't know. I might even see if he wants me to take a scoop out of it, but we'll see. So we topsoiled all this. This wall is now done. You can see out there, it was leveled off, I ran the water. So the water runs from that tap there, runs under his deck, you can see, actually if I poke the camera up, you can see it. Comes up through this wall, down, and then across into there. So he's gonna put a tap in there. He's got his access for his mower coming up through here. 
it's all been worn they're going to use some steel edging along the rock wall to give it that rustic look um i filled all this in you know sawn steps come down here it's a little garden bed we put in here we could only get this little step to fit so we decided to put a rock in here make a little garden bed there um so there's a look at the top section and our step staircase coming through down there um we'll jump down here and have a look we've got the pretty puppy oh, here aren't you sweetheart hey i know you're a bit scared of the excavator aren't you hey darling pretty girl so this is our wall all done job finished they're gonna mulch they've already got some plants all right spoke to the client they're all happy it's time for us to get out of here just taking a few more photos all right all done little garden pocket our sawn steps coming up topsoil Job done. Job done. Lots of time. One forty. Finished. Game over. All right. Go get this truck unloaded. Might even load the three and a half up tonight. Get everything sorted for the morning. And we will see you on the next project.